I am Bob, and I'm back. It's Bob. I'm back. You are listening to That Is What I Am Talking About. I am Bob A. Dingleman, and I am back from being sick. We thank you for listening to our show and all of our supporters here. And uh, we're back. Uh, I was sick. I got everybody else sick, so we couldn't do the show. Got Quisha sick, got the Reverend sick, got Noah sick, but Bob is back and ready to get this show on the road. Everybody, uh, say hi to Noah. Noah, do you, uh, how are you feeling these days, Noah? Feeling good, Bob. Feeling all right, Bob. Yeah, you got us sick. You got everybody sick, Bob. Uh, I don't know what was going on with you, but uh, you've been sick for a long time. I uh, hope you're all right now. Don't get everybody sick right now, Bob. So, uh, feeling all right, Bob? Good, 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 good. Do it, good. Let's do it, let's do it, let's do it, Bob, Bob. All right, good, 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 good. All right, Noah. Uh, it's good that you are good. Uh, Quisha is still sick, so she will not be doing her segment for a while. We think we're going to be joined by the Reverend Goldstein. And we are ready to take callers. Ready to get that is what I am talking about on the road again. And so I apologize to everybody that we've been away. Uh, I came back with a new theme. I came back and I said, I'm back, I'm back. And then we went away, but I am back again. And I hope that uh, everybody's ready to hear my new theme and ready to really participate with that is what I'm talking about. I think that the Reverend has joined us. The Reverend is here. So we'll be back shortly with that is what I am talking about. Here we are, 2013, fall of 2013, and ready to roll. So we thank you for listening. Please stay tuned. There's more to come. All right, I am back. We are back. That is what I am talking about. Reverend Goldstein is here. Reverend, how are you feeling on this glorious day? This is the Reverend Goldstein. Mr. Dingle. I'm so glad that you and Noah and everybody is back on the scene. Because we, uh, we've been missing the show. I've been missing being able to get on and express myself. And so we are happy to have everybody back on the scene. For everybody who don't know me, I am the Reverend Goldstein. Mordecai Goldstein IV. And my choice is the Redeemer on high. Who looks down low. And if you don't act right, you know where you're going to go to incorporate it. Well, Reverend, uh, thank you for that rousing uh, plug for your church. And we're glad that you're feeling all right. And I'm feeling all right. Noah's feeling all right. Right, Noah? Yeah, Bob. Yep. I'm good. Good, good, Bob. Good. Ready to go, Bob. Let's let's get the show on the road, Bob. Let's, no, no more talking about nonsense. Let's get to it. Well, Noah, you know, I... Uh... You know, I just want to let the people know, you know, I, I had a cold and... Then the cold went away. Then I uh, I was still a little hoarse and coughing and everything. And then I got the flu. And so between the cold and the coughing and then the flu and feeling like that, you know, I've not been feeling myself and my voice has not been right. And and it's, this has been the first week in over a month that I've actually felt pretty good, ready to go, ready to talk, ready to do some things. So... Uh, I just wanted to let the people know that and uh, so we can do something. So we're going to start off today with the Reverend and the Reverend's Reflections. So uh, without further ado, we're going to bring forth the Reverend. And remember, you all are listening to That Is What I Am Talking About, the number one rated internet radio talk show in the world. <laughs> At any rate... It's been a while since I've said it. So for those of you who don't remember, I am Bob A. Dingleman, and always I am bad. <laughs> All right. So, Reverend Goldstein, I'm sorry. I just had to do that. You know, it's been a while. I got to get my juices back flowing. Got to get back going. Ready to roll. All right, Reverend Goldstein, we are now ready for the Reverend's Reflections. This is the Rem Goldstein again. And I would like to say to everybody, uh, remember that the name of my joy is the Redeemer on high, who looks down low. And if you don't act right, 
you know where you is going to go. So, I want to talk about some things that have been on my mind. I, uh, this summer, the church had a picnic at a local park. And I was at the park with everybody and family day, uh, enjoying each other, fellowshipping with each other. And we got to see all of the things that everybody in America and in the world is doing. And I must say that I am surprised at what goes on with everybody in the world. We were at the local park, everybody on the park playing, have a good time, barbecuing, running around on the swing, watching they car, all these things. And but you got some people on the park that was doing things that the rhythm does not condone. Number one, I see these young girls walking around the park with these short shorts on, booty cheeks hanging everywhere, butt cracked out. I don't understand why people can't come out the house with clothes on. I also saw girls walking with obviously with their mama. Mama dressed the same way. Breasts all pushed up and out. Butt crack, butt cheek, everything just showing. In the park, like everybody out here in the park, old people, young people, everybody out here. But we got people who don't know how to dress. T-shirts on, belly hanging out, back out, gut hanging out, tattoos everywhere. What is wrong with our young women today? So as I reflect on the family day in the park, I would like to say that we must uh, teach our young people how to dress, how to walk, how to talk, and how to respect the elders of the world. They were just a cussing and a fussing. It didn't matter who was around. At the rim, I went to some people and said, look here, I'm the rim. I'm old enough to be your grandpa. They looked at me and some of them just cussed me out like I wasn't even standing there. So, I must say that the realm did not appreciate little young folk with no respect. The Bible needs to be slapped upside their head for them to learn some respect. Because if they went to the Redeemer on high, you know that they would not behave that way. But that is what our job is. To reach the lost souls of the world. And we will do that. But I just want to say this is what I saw. Young boys out in the park in the car with the boom the boom 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 the boom boom loud music. Just everywhere. Just loud boom 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 boom. I don't know why. You can't even hear. Can't talk to nobody. All that boom boom the truck vibrating. But anyway, we haven't wanted everybody to have a good time and learn how to act out in public without all the cussing. Learn how to dress. Turn that damn, uh, turn that music down. I, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Turn that music down. You can't even get a word to the song. Anyway, that has been my reflections. The Reverend Mordecai Goldstein IV. So I will say to you, Everybody in the world, ladies, learn how to dress. Teach your daughter how to dress, lady. You, mama, you too old to be dressing like that. Your days done passed. Come up. Come up. And the young people need to have some respect for the elder. One little boy told me that he would whoop my mother. Well, he told me he'd beat me up. I said, boy, I am old enough to be your granddaddy. I ought to put you across my knee and take my shoe off. And the little boy said, oh, man, if you take your shoe off, I'm going to take that shoe and shove it. Well, needless to say, the young man did not have no respect for his health. And when I see people like that, I figure they're going straight to hell.
With that, that had been the Reverend Reflection. Well, Reverend, uh, sounds like you have had an eventful, uh, you had some eventful times there in the park uh, with all of the things that you saw and uh, some of the people that you encountered. Uh, it's unfortunate that young people don't have respect, and hopefully uh, some people can impress upon them the need for respectful behavior. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They need respectful behavior because, you know, I don't know what's wrong with these people these days. They curse. The pets are hanging down, sagging. Uh, uh, no respect. You just walk around people. You know, young girls just bent over, you know, like they don't dress, they don't wear right clothes anymore. I don't know what's going on, Bapa. Uh, something's going on in the world, Bapa. Uh, uh, I, may, I may agree with the Reverend. Maybe it's the devil. Maybe the devil is, 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 has gotten a hold of people and they just don't know how to act. Well, Noah, I'm not sure about the devil. Don't know what it is, but uh, obviously uh, something's going on because it, it has you two uh, up in arms and concerned about uh, the state of affairs in our country. So hopefully we can right the ship and get everything going in the right direction. At any rate, we're going to take a little break here. Come back. The Reverend's going to join us. We're going to take some calls. But before that, remember, you are listening to That Is What I Am Talking About. This is Ricky Week of the Orlando Monarchs Jackie Robinson Baseball Program. Come out and see us November 16th at the Jackie Robinson Family Day in the Park. Hollywood Beauty Academy, 6112 Silver Star Road. Every week, we give away 10 manicures. Free, but you have to say the phrase that pays. Don't meet me there, meet me there. That's right. Don't meet me there, meet me there. That's Hollywood Beauty Academy, 6112 Silver Star Road. Call 407 292 6727. The first 10 people every week get a free manicure. That's right. Hollywood Beauty Academy, 6112 Silver Star Road. Call 407 292 6727. All right. Has your home or property been damaged by any of the recent storms, such as water damage or damage from lightning? Then you may need a lawyer. Has your home been damaged due to an accident where items were dropped, cracked your tile floor, or caused other damage to your tile flooring? Then you may need a lawyer. Has your business been burglarized and the insurance company refused to pay to replace the stolen items or otherwise deny your claim? You may need a lawyer. Has your insurance company denied your long or short-term disability claim? You may need a lawyer. Has your home been damaged due to sinkhole activity? Or has your home been damaged due to a fire or smoke loss? Has the insurance company denied your claim or offered an amount insufficient to make the necessary repairs? You may need a lawyer. If you need a lawyer, call Anthony Smith Law at 1-866-520-4529. At Anthony Smith Law, they represent clients who have disputes with their own insurance company. If your insurance company denies your claim, call Anthony Smith Law. Their consultation is free, and they never get paid unless you do. Remember, call 1-866-520-4529 to discuss your insurance rights. Anthony Smith Law Offices, located in Orlando. Empire Graphics and Printing, the number one graphics and printing company in Florida. Club flyers, mixtape covers, posters, they do it all. Reach them at 407-404-0509. TJWS Radio. We're back on That Is What I Am Talking About. We got Noah here. We got the Reverend here. And uh, I think the Reverend has a little more to say about his summer outing in the park. I was in the park, Mr. Dingle, and I have to say, also at the park, there are sometimes young men walking around looking like women. Oh, uh, really, Reverend? Uh Okay, uh, are you talking about uh, uh, transvestites or drag queens or something like that? Well, uh, I guess whatever you want to call them. But one in particular, uh, his his name was Bukwamisha. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, Reverend, uh, uh, Bukwamisha? Yes, his name was Bukwamisha. And Mr. Dinger, I must tell you that knowing now that Bukwamisha is a man, he is very distressing. Because if you walk up on Bukwamisha, you will not know that that is a man. You will think 
that that's a woman. And that is what happened to me, Mr. Dingle. Uh, okay, Reverend, uh, let me get this straight. You, you walked up on a young man who you thought was a young woman, and this person's name is Abuqua Misha. That is correct, Mr. Dingle. I know I see you laughing now. Oh, no, it's so funny. <laughs> Buku Misha. <laughs> what kind of name is that? <laughs> oh, that's kind of funny, Bob. Uh, Buku Misha. <laughs> you laughing just a little bit too long there, Noah. Just a little bit too long. All right, Reverend. And so you, you, uh, again, you, you had uh, some kind of discussion or some kind of interaction with this, this Buku Misha. Well, Mr. Digger, like I said, I thought that this was a woman. And I was just walking around the park, being friendly, shaking hands, talking to people. And mingling with the world, letting them know about my trait. And I walked up on Bukumisha and uh, whoever Bukumisha was with. And I walked up and said, hello, young lady. Whoa. Whoa. Good gracious. Good God Almighty. And we had a conversation. And let's just say, at the end of that conversation, I learned that Bukumisha was indeed a man. <laughs> Uh, Bob, he had a con, a conversation, Bob. <laughs> what kind of conversation was that there, Rev? <laughs> Noah, I see you laughing there, Noah. You're laughing a little too hard. Again, I'm not sure what the problem is, Noah, but I keep telling you the Rev wasn't always no Rev. So you need to slow down over that, Noah. Well, Reverend, uh, what kind of conversation did you and, and Bukwamisha have uh, that, uh, how did you find out eventually that this was indeed a male and not a female? Well, Mr. Dinger, I don't want to go all into them kind of uh, detail. I just want to say that you, young boy around here, should not be fooling people and thinking you a girl when you ain't. Especially if you still got the sausage hanging. Oh, Reverend, Reverend, uh, okay, uh, th that's not so bad. Uh, uh, but still, calm down a bit. Reverend. That's right. Calm down. I had a long conversation. Bukumisha, then I go in the bathroom, and Bukumisha in there, and, uh, say, uh, what you doing in here in the men's restroom? Uh, that's when he started looking all funny, and I started looking at his hand, hand big old hand, big old Adam's apple. I say, good gracious alive, I done got fooled. Oh, my lord. <laughs> big hand, big, I don't know. <laughs> that's funny, Bob. That's really funny. <laughs> oh, oh, Reverend, you must admit that's a bit kind of, uh, uh, kind of humorous that uh, you got fooled that way. But luckily you got fooled before anything else happened, Reverend. And, and besides, you're a married man, Reverend. What are you doing? What are you like doing? Like I said, Mr. Dingle, all I was doing was talking, uh, inviting people to the church, and mingling with people of the world and to find out what is going on and saving souls that the devil is, is holding on people. And the devil and somebody around here, if they're going to act like they're a woman, they ain't. They need to cut that out. That is terrible. Well, Reverend, I, I, I happen to agree with you on that. That is not a nice thing to deceive people. People do not like to be deceived. And uh, I can understand why you would be upset in this particular situation. That's right, Mr. Dinger. That's right. Them don't like to be deceived because Satan, the devil, oh, and all his minions try to deceive everybody and get them and take them down the wrong way in the path to hell. So, anyway, Buku Misha, if you are listening to this show, I would like for you to call in or meet me at... Reverend, what are you saying? What, Reverend? You are a married man, Reverend. What are you talking about? I, I know, Mr. Dingo. I know, I know. I got a problem. I, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Everybody, I'm just going through some things right now at home, and I'm confused right now. I'm confused. Okay, Mr. Dingo, you're right. No, Buku Misha, don't call here. Don't meet me nowhere. Excuse me, I, I, I just, I'm just confused. I'm going through some things, Mr. Dingle. I, 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 I'm going to get myself together here. I, I apologize. Uh, and, uh, don't listen to that what I just said. Uh, the devil's creeping in my brain trying to make me say the wrong thing to the world. Don't listen to that. The devil lock and block and stomp and get out of here. Devil, get thee away from here, Satan. All right, uh, Reverend. <laughs> Uh, that's right. Uh, Satan, get away. Do not get in the Reverend's brain and cause him to say things like that. So, anyway, we're going to take another break here. We'll be back. You are listening to That Is What I Am Talking About. Please stay tuned.
This is Doug Billingsley, magician and entertainer. Come check me out November 16th at the Grand Avenue Park. It's the Jackie Robinson Family Day in the Park. Hollywood Beauty Academy, 6112 Silver Star Road. Every week, we give away 10 manicures. Free! But you have to say the phrase that pays. Don't meet me there, meet me there. That's right. Don't meet me there, meet me there. That's Hollywood Beauty Academy, 6112 Silver Star Road. Call 407-292-6727. The first 10 people every week get a free manicure. That's right. Hollywood Beauty Academy, 6112 Silver Star Road. Call 407-292-6727. All right. TJWS Radio Network, featuring Jimmy Drop D. Williams and the Jimmy Williams Show. The best in news, talk, and music. Only on TJWS Radio. Empire Graphics and Printing, the number one graphics and printing company in Florida. Club flyers, mixtape covers, posters, they do it all. Reach them at 407-404-0509. All right, we are back. Welcome to That Is What I'm Talking About. Bob is back. Noah's back. Get ready to take some calls and to see how you're feeling, people out there, since we've been away for a while. Mr. Digger, before you do that, I just got a little few things on my mind. I want to just share a little. I ain't hijacking your show. I just, I got things on my mind, and uh, I'm going through some things at home. Uh, Mr. Digger, my, my wife has decided to cut me off, Mr. Digger. Can you imagine that? Can you believe that this woman I've been married to for 35 years want to cut the Reverend off, knowing how the Reverend feel? Well, well, Reverend, uh, well, you know, that's uh, 35 years. Well, that is a long time to be married. And now she's decided to cut you off. Is, is, is she okay? Is she going through some medical issues? You know, sometimes that happens. You know, women have different sets of issues than men. Uh, is she going through something medically that maybe she's just not up for it or in the mood uh, or what have you? Could that be? Oh, Mr. Dingle, it ain't that. She ain't ain't no medical, far as I know. Uh, what I know here that what she told me, she told me. Now nah, I'm so old that I got the longest nuts. She ever seen. <laughs> Bob, that's, Bob, that's funny, Bob. You got <laughs> Oh, Reverend O.K. Uh, you're saying that she doesn't have a medical problem, but uh, <laughs> I'm kind of with Noah here. Okay, you're saying that she said that you have the longest nuts that she's ever seen. Is, is that correct? You two are laughing like something funny. Ain't nothing funny. The Reverend don't appreciate that. Yeah, she said, I done got a hole, and they just, they, I got the longest nut she ever seen. She just don't feel like being around them. Oh, uh, well, Reverend, uh, everybody has their own personal taste. Uh, that's unfortunate, and I feel so sorry for you. Uh, maybe, you know, you're a reverend, and, and you're married, and maybe you should uh, 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 ref- refresh your vows to let your wife uh, know through richer and poorer and good times and bad and all those wonderful things that you said to each other 35 years you ago. You know, you right. You is right. That's right. For better or for worse, for longer or for shorter. I'm, I'm on, that's what I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say later on. Yeah, I'm going to say that, Mr. Dingo. I appreciate you giving the Reverend some advice. Oh, you know, the Reverend always got to give everybody else advice. Sometimes the Reverend needs a little advice. Sometimes from time to time. I, I, Reverend, I, I'm not sure that for longer or for shorter is a vow, but, uh, you know, you can give it a shot. I'm not sure that you want to say that, though, but, uh, okay, Reverend. No, the Reverend like what he like. And Reverend going to say whatever he needs to say because uh, Reverend cannot be cut off. That is just not go to happen. Oh, uh, okay. Well, uh, uh, give it a shot, Reverend. But in the meantime, we got a call from Quisha. She's on the line right now. Uh, maybe she's feeling better. She wants to call in and say a few words. And uh, 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 cool. Glad to know that all my people that I've gotten sick are now getting better. 
So, Quisha, how are you today? How are you, Quisha? I still have a little sickness thing, but you know what I'm thinking? That is one nasty ass old man right there. Who? I don't told you, girl. You calling in and messing with me. I ain't messing with you. You calling in and messing with me. Oh, uh, okay, you two. Come on, calm down now. Let's 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 get this under control. What's going on? I thought you called in, Quisha, to to uh say hi to everybody. Let everybody know. I am okay. Here. I'm just saying. I'm listening to your show. And you talking about nuts, long as nuts and stuff. Talking to uh, uh, Bakumisha, Bukumisha, whatever. He nasty, Mr. I don't even know how you have him on your show. He probably won't get everybody sick. That's it. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> uh, she hung up the phone. Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure you two are like fire and ice, like oil and water. You just got a thing going on there, but uh, you seem to really raise her ire, Reverend. But uh, like, what can I say? Everybody's not going to always anyway, go along. I don't know what's wrong with that gal. Always bothering me. But you know what? Uh, I ain't going to say that. Let me let me go pray. Let me go pray and get that kind of spirit at my spirit, Miss Nichols. Whoo! If I just told you what I was just thinking, you would not like it, Mr. Dingle. Well, Reverend, that is good that you you want to raise above the fray and not think and do things that will get you in trouble. Hopefully, uh, everything will work out and we can get you two back on friendly terms. In the meantime, we have a phone call. We have Mr. Joe, Mr. Bang Joe calling in. Bang Joe, uh, good to hear from you, Bang Joe. What do you got to say today? With the That Is What I'm Talking About, Bob A. Dingleman, Noah, and the Reverend guest hosting on the show. What do you have to say today, Mr. Bain? This is Bain Joe. Bain Joe, 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 All right, Mr. Bain Joe. All right, now let's 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 calm down. You called in. Let's let's talk about what you called in to talk about. What did you call in to talk about today? We thank you for listening to That Is What I'm Talking About. What are you talking about, Mr. Bain Joe? And uh. I just tell you what you're talking about, too. Uh, uh, we're not talking about these nuts hanging and everything. I'm just talking about, you know, Banjo, you know, everybody don't have, you know, everybody got some kind of little guy, uh, uh, quirks and everything. That they want to do things like certain way and everything. And I just want to talk about my Banjo. What Banjo like doing, Banjo, 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 Banjo. Oh, Mr. Banjo, I'm, I'm not understanding anything that you're saying. So please uh, calm down, slow down, and, and, and talk to the. Oh, I'm just saying, you know, when, it, when it's read for me, time around sex time of my life, I like her to wear uh, uh, tube socks. I like women to wear tube socks to bed. You like a woman to wear tube socks to bed. Uh, okay. Uh, well, so what? So what? What's the big deal? What's so what? Well, so I, what about I like women with big ankles. Uh, the big ankles, uh, ankles the same, same size from their calf all the way down to their ankle. I, I like women like that. And they put on the tube sock, cut the tube sock around the ankle so I can squeeze the ankle when we're making love. And then I play the banjo, 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 the banjo. Noah, calm down. Uh, okay, uh, Mr. Banjo, you said that uh, you like women who have large ankles and you cut the tube sock right at the ankle so you can squeeze the ankle? Is, is that what That's what I said. said. I like to squeeze, squeeze their ankle right there below the tube sock when we're making love. They're fine. I love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. I, I'm talking like Noah right now. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. So, and then uh, after I squeeze their ankle and everything, I just alternate. Squeeze left, squeeze right, squeeze left, squeeze right, squeeze, 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 squeeze. Then I play the banjo. Banjo, the banjo, the banjo, the banjo, the bang, 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 bang. All right, Mr. Banjo. All right. Well, thank you for, for adding that bit of. Uh, of information to this show. Thank you for saying that you like to squeeze ankles and alternate, then play the banjo. And, uh, well, we hope that works out for you. And thank you for calling. Uh, please. Uh, Bob, call that was back. interesting, Bob. I'm not sure what he's talking about. He, he, he likes to squeeze fat ankles with socks on. Bob, 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 where do you get these people from, Bob? Uh, you are, yeah. Yeah, they are strange people, Bob. But anyway, Bob, uh, okay, we got some more callers on the line, Bob, so we'll get to it. All right, uh, we have Anonymous on the line. Anonymous, thank you for calling. That is what I am talking about. Anonymous, uh, what are you talking for, about uh, today? Thank my call, Mr. Ding. I appreciate that and everything. Y'all, y'all talking about women and stuff, man, what, what y'all like doing and everything. Um, my old lady say she don't, uh, Reverend, my old lady say she don't want, she don't want to do it with me no more, Mr. Dingleman. What you think I should do? Uh, uh, anonymous. Uh, uh, what is it that uh, 
she's giving you the reason why. What is the reason that she she doesn't want? I mean, are you breaking up? Did you do something? What's going on? You got to yeah, give no, me a little more no, information. Man. You know, we've been together for a long time. You know, everything. She just say, you know, she won't do it with me no more. You know, she say that I got, uh, when we be, you know, getting down and everything, she rub on my head. And when she rub on the back of my neck, I got a lot of meat back there. It feel like a pack of hot dogs. And she don't, she don't like that. What you think I should do? Hot dogs. Uh, uh, anonymous. So, so let me get this right. She's rubbing on the back of your head and, and you have meat on the back of your head, and she thinks that it feels like a pack of, of hot dogs. Is, is that yeah, what I heard you say? He say, you know, I, I ain't fat or nothing. I'm, I'm skinny and everything, but I just got meat on my neck and at the back of my head. And she say, it feel like a pack of hot dogs. And when she do it, she get hungry. She don't want to do it no more. What you think I should do? Well, uh, uh, Anonymous, uh, that, you, you stumped me on that, with Anonymous. I'm not sure what you should do. Maybe you ought to find another woman who will accept you for you and everything will be all right because that's that sounds a bit ridiculous to me. People gain weight, people lose weight. Things happen through, throughout relationships, so I'm not understanding what you're talking about. So, Mr. Anonymous, if I were you, I would uh, uh, have a heart-to-heart with my lady and uh, think about where our future yeah, lies. Dennis, she said, you know, Feel like a pack of hot dogs. She used to say it feel like a pack of Vienna sausages, but she said, nah, it's just straight up hot dog. What you think I should do? Well, well, again, uh, if you've had this problem for a while, maybe you ought to talk to her and see where you're headed. Because uh, Vienna sausages and hot dogs, I'm just not sure what's going on over there. But, uh, uh, yeah, you need to have a long talk. But anyway, Anonymous, thank you for calling in. We appreciate your calling. Please Bob, you got some strange me. people, Bob. Yeah, Vienna sausages. Here we go again, Bob. But you ought to try it with some crackers, Bob. Vienna sausages and crackers, Bob. Sardines, potted meat. You gotta, get, you gotta do it, Bob. Spam. Bob Dingleman is not eating uh, potted meat and spam and Vienna sausages. Noah, save it. Yuck. Ugh. Disgusting. Yuck. All right, Bob. Yuck. Shoot yourself, Bob. That's yeah, some good eating, Bob. Good, 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 good. All right, more callers on the line. We have Edward from Jamaica. Edward, uh, good to talk to you, Edward. How are you? What's going this on with Edward you? This is Edward from Jamaica. I'm listening to your show about what the women say they will and will not do. What kind of man are you to let the woman tell you what she going to do, Reverend? And the other guy call and talk about the hot dog and thing like that. Edward is the man in his house. And the woman do what Edward say to do. And the black American men need to learn to tell the woman to do what him say do. That is what the problem in the black American in America. They are not man. They are boy. Need to learn how to be man and tell the woman, this is what we do. And you better listen to me, woman, because I the man and you're not the man. All right, Edward. Uh, okay, so your position is that uh, you are going to say that you are a man and certain things are going to occur because you're a man. And women better just fall in line. Is that That's what you're right. saying? That's right. That is correct. In Jamaica, we know I have the problem with the woman. See, we going to do this. We going to do that. We're not going to do this. The hot dog, the nuts, all the thing like that. You do what I tell you to do, woman. And don't tell me no lip about what you might do what, and all of this thing. I don't know what go on in America, but I know that. Edward from Jamaica, no allow that when we woman. All right, Edward from Jamaica. Well... We'll share that with our audience and let them know that, men, you need to man up and, and, and say, look here, this is how it's going to be. But I must caution, Edward, that could uh, lead to problems. American women sometimes don't like being told that I'm the man, you're the woman, do this. Uh, that could be a problem, Edward. But, uh, but again, uh, we're glad that you've decided to call us again and that you're still listening. And uh, uh, please call again. This is Ricky Week of the Orlando Monarchs Jackie Robinson Baseball Program. Come out and see us November 16th at the Jackie Robinson Family Day in the Park. 
Has your home or property been damaged by any of the recent storms, such as water damage or damage from lightning? Then you may need a lawyer. Has your home been damaged due to an accident where items were dropped, cracked your tile floor, or caused other damage to your tile flooring? Then you may need a lawyer. Has your business been burglarized and the insurance company refused to pay to replace the stolen items or otherwise deny your claim? You may need a lawyer. Has your insurance company denied your long or short-term disability claim? You may need a lawyer. Has your home been damaged due to sinkhole activity? Or has your home been damaged due to a fire or smoke loss? Has the insurance company denied your claim or offered an amount insufficient to make the necessary repairs? You may need a lawyer. If you need a lawyer, call Anthony Smith Law at 1-866-520-4529. At Anthony Smith Law, they represent clients who have disputes with their own insurance company. If your insurance company denies your claim, call Anthony Smith Law. Their consultation is free, and they never get paid unless you do. Remember, call 1-866-520-4529 to discuss your insurance rights. Anthony Smith Law Offices, located in Orlando. Hollywood Beauty Academy. Invest in your future. Start a profitable career in the beauty field. For a low tuition, you can become a nail tech, a skin care technician, a cosmetologist, or a permanent makeup artist, or learn eyelash extension. Earn good money. The tuition is affordable for everyone. We have installment plans to fit your budget and flexible schedules to fit your own schedule. Call us at 407-292-6727 or come for a visit at 6112 Silver Star Road, Orlando 32 we are open from Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Hollywood Beauty Academy. Email Hollywood Beauty Academy at yahoo.com. Invest in your future. This is Doug Billingsley, magician and entertainer. Come check me out November 16th at the Grand Avenue Park. It's the Jackie Robinson Family Day in the Park. Hollywood Beauty Academy, 6112 Silver Star Road. Every week, we give away 10 manicures free. But you have to say the phrase that pays. Don't meet me there, meet me there. That's right. Don't meet me there, meet me there. That's Hollywood Beauty Academy, 6112 Silver Star Road. Call 407-292-6727. The first 10 people every week get a free manicure. That's right. Hollywood Beauty Academy, 6112 Silver Star Road. Call 407-292-6727. All right. Right, we we have more. Oh, we have more callers. We have the Campbell Soup Lady, Reverend over there. You've been over there relaxing for a while, but uh, your uh, your former choir member, the Campbell Soup Campbell Soup Gospel Lady, is calling in to discuss Bukwamisha of all things. So, uh, Campbell Soup Gospel Lady, how are you? I'm good. I'm good. 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 How can I get it? How can we help you today, Campbell Soup Lady? Uh, uh, what 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 uh, causes you to call in here? And that is what I am talking about. Look at me, my son. Rather you nasty, you need help, Lord. Help, Lord. Help, Lord. Help, Lord. Help, 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 Lord. Ah, uh, Bukwamisha is your son. You say, uh, Campbell Soup Gospel Lady. Interesting, uh, Reverend. Did uh, you didn't know that, no. did you? Ha! Now that you say that, I kept saying to myself, that person looked familiar. Uh, oh, I be doggone. Wow. You sit right up in my chair. No wonder he was laughing all the time. He knew who I was the whole time. See what I'm saying? Uh, uh, Mr. Dinger, that's deceitful going straight to hell. That's why he don't go to my chair no more. Because he know he going straight to hell. Oh, uh, Reverend. Okay, let's calm down with the hell talk. Let's let's calm down. Uh, Camel Soup. Uh, lady, uh, what, what is it? What is it that you have to say? Uh, y- your son was being deceitful to the reverend. So, uh, uh, you, who are you upset with? He needs some help. Help. He needs some help. 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 La. Help. Help. La. Help. Help. La. Help. Help. La. Uh, okay. Uh, um, uh, gospel. Chemistry. Gospel. Lady, you said the reverend needs help. Uh. He's 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 admitted that uh, today, at least. Uh, but what about your son uh, deceiving people? How, how do you feel ab- about that? <laughs> Can I do that thing one more time? Can I do that thing one more time? Honey, have a Okay, uh, uh, but that's not really answering my question. 
But uh, okay. Um, is there anything else that you have to say? Uh, uh, Campbell Soup. Yeah, that's my son. You know you're wrong. Ha. You're wrong. Ha. You need the Holy Ghost. Ha. You need to turn around and tell somebody. Turn around and tell somebody. You need the Holy Ghost. Ha. Ha. You need the Holy Ghost. Ha. 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 Turn around and tell somebody. Turn around and tell somebody. You need the Holy Ghost. Okay, uh, Campbell Soup Gospel Lady says that the Reverend needs the Holy Ghost in order to stop him from uh, 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 doing the things that he is doing. And uh, uh, Campbell Soup Gospel Lady, we will we will tell the Reverend that, and hopefully he will take that under advisement. And and we thank you for calling. Uh, is there anything else that you have to Can say? Can I do that thing one more time? Can I do that thing one more time? I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I want some Campbell Soup. <laughs> All right. Well, Campbell Soup, Cosmo Lady, thank you for calling in, and we appreciate it. And uh, if you're hungry, go ahead and get you some Campbell Soup, and. Uh, uh, everything will be all right. At any rate, we appreciate everybody calling in today on That Is What I'm Talking About. We've returned. Hopefully everybody is well and we'll go forward and just really, really get it done. We thank you. We appreciate it. And we hope you continue to listen. And uh, everything will be all right. All right. We don't have to go home, but we got to get out of here. Thank you for listening. Please listen again. I gotta say, hey Noah, thanks for being my assistant. Anytime, Bob, anytime. Reverend, thank you for sitting in today. And we hope that you continue to join us, as well as the other guests that we have on from time to time. We're out of here, but remember, I am bad. <laughs> The fictional characters on this show are based on real-life events. These characters are owned and created by Golden Ears Entertainment in partnership with The Jimmy Williams Show. All rights reserved. Hollywood Beauty Academy. Invest in your future. Start a profitable career in the beauty field. For a low tuition, you can become a nail tech, a skin care technician, a cosmetologist, or a permanent makeup artist, or learn eyelash extension. Earn good money. The tuition is affordable for everyone. We have installment plans to fit your budget and flexible schedules to fit your own schedule. Call us at 407-292-6727 or come for a visit at 6112 Silver Star Road, Orlando 32. 808. We are open from Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Hollywood Beauty Academy. Email Hollywood Beauty Academy at yahoo.com. Invest in your future. TJWS Radio Network featuring Jimmy Drop D. Williams and the Jimmy Williams Show. News on the music get The best in news, talk, and music. Only on TJWS Radio. This is Doug Billingsley, magician and entertainer. Come check me out November 16th at the Grand Avenue Park. It's the Jackie Robinson Family Day in the Park. Hollywood Beauty Academy, 6112 Silver Star Road. Every week. We give away 10 manicures, free, but you have to say the phrase that pays, don't meet me there, meet me there. That's right. Don't meet me there, meet me there. That's Hollywood Beauty Academy, 6112 Silver Star Road. Call 407-292-6727. The first 10 people every week get a free manicure. That's right. Hollywood Beauty Academy, 6112 Silver Star Road. Call 407-292-6727. All right. 
Empire Graphics and Printing, the number one graphics and printing company in Florida. Club flyers, mixtape covers, posters, they do it all. Reach them at 407-404-0509. This is Ricky Week of the Orlando Monarchs Jackie Robinson Baseball Program. Come out and see us November 16th at the Jackie Robinson Family Day in the Park. 